So let's use a simple model for an atom. Let's say we have an atom. Um, we'll use a helium atom. Okay, so it has two protons and two neutrons. So in other words, the overall charge uh, of a helium atom of a helium atom is um, is two uh, two e. Okay, and then let's say we have a proton that we're firing at that atom. And let's say we were able to get it um, so that we're firing it directly head on. Okay, so we'll be, we'll, we're looking at a one-dimensional motion problem. Now, this is just a, you know, a gross oversimplification because you know a helium atom isn't just a ball, a proton isn't just a ball, and the actual interaction between them is very complicated. Um, but this is still um, gives us a good approximation if we want to find out how close this proton can actually come to this helium atom. Okay, so we'll notice that they won't, we actually won't collide it. Um, what we'll have is let's say we give the proton some initial energy, Vp. We'll say that the helium atom's at rest. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll say that, you know, that the helium atom's basically big enough so that it, it's essentially not going to move while the proton um, is going to move towards it and then go away from it. Okay, so let's see what the energy would look like for this system. So initially, um, we have an energy that's one half mass of the proton times the velocity of the proton squared plus k, the charge of the proton, which is e, the charge of the helium atom, which is 2e, um, and the distance between them initially. And then we're going to set that equal to the final energy, which is just going to be one half mass of the proton, velocity of the proton final squared, plus k e 2e over r final. Okay, well there's a couple terms we can get rid of. For one, we're going to we, because um, we're firing this from so far away, you know, this distance is going to be very, very big. Um, so this term basically becomes zero. And similarly, we want to find out how close we can get the proton to colliding with the atom. So in other words, we want to find the point where its velocity is zero. Its final velocity is zero, so we can also get rid of that term. So that just leaves us with one-half mass of the proton, velocity of the proton squared is equal to k, 2k e squared over our final position. So our final position is just um, 4k e squared all over mass of the proton, velocity of the proton squared. Um, and so this is, so this is the, the closest distance um, that the proton will, the proton can get to the helium atom. And so notice that by, um, by making the velocity larger, right, that means that the, the proton is going to get, you know, this is the distance between them, RF. So the larger we make the velocity, the smaller this gets, which means they're getting closer and closer together. And that's exactly what we would expect. Um, and then, you know, checking our units, remember we set the units of K were um, units of energy over um, charge squared um, divided by length squared. Um, so in other words, um, I'm sorry, not divided by length squared, but times length squared. No. Yeah, it was... Unit, just units of energy divided by charge squared, right? Um, so um, times length. There we go. But yeah, checking checking here. We can see that it has to be the charge squares cancel out and the lengths cancel out. So yeah, so this is going to have units of energy times length divided by charge squared. Okay. 
So what this means for our position, so this means this is going to have units of energy, length, divided by charge squared, that's from K. The E has units of charge squared. Mass has units of mass. Velocity has units of length squared over time squared. And remember, we're going to, we'll say that the energy is really mass length squared over time squared. So now we can go and cancel everything out. So, um, so we see that these length squareds cancel out, the time squareds cancel out, the masses cancel out, the charges cancel out, and so all we're left with is units of length. Um, and that's exactly what we wanted, so our units check out too. So everything um, that we've done makes sense.